Dr. Colleen Fogarty, the department chair at the University of Rochester Department of Family Medicine is with us. Doctor, good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Talking about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine with good reason. It's top of mind for so many. And let's go stem to stern here. What was the whole deal behind the pause that has now since been lifted over the weekend? Yes, so the, the new vaccines are closely monitored and the Center for Disease Control and FDA became aware that there have been six cases reported of a rare clotting disorder called thrombosis thrombocytopenia syndrome. And these were uh, in women ages eight, 18 to 49 and were very, very rare complication, but out of an abundance of caution, they decided to pause administration of the vaccine to see what the safety concerns could be. So during the pause, the physicians and scientists at both FDA and CDC looked at all the data and they identified up to 15 cases of this syndrome. After doing all the analysis, they've concluded that the benefits to the individual and to public health outweigh any risks from receiving the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. All right, obviously it's a serious side effect. We acknowledge that, but let's put some context on the risk in terms of overall numbers here. Sure. So. The, the number of cases were between 6 and 15 cases of this severe condition out of 6.8 million doses administered. So that's a risk of about 1 to 2 in a million. If we think about a comparable um, situation, the risk of dying in a car crash is 119 in a million. So if you about the risks from a vaccine of having this severe complication, it's a hundred times less than the risk of dying in a car crash. Mm. Now, neither of these are trivial. I don't want to minimize that. Mm -hmm. But when people are going forward to consider getting vaccinated, keep in mind that the risks are very, very, very low. I've had many patients and one of my family members receive the Johnson & Johnson vaccine without any trouble whatsoever. They're doing fine. And there, the, the H word here is hesitancy. We know that there are people in our population that are hesitant. What is the recommendation right now, doctor? So the recommendation remains for anyone 18 and over to receive the next available COVID vaccine for them. So any, any of the local um, outlets, any of the pharmacies, the Dome Arena site, the FEMA site, to sign up and get your COVID vaccination. For uh, students 16 and up, they're eligible for the Pfizer. So for anyone 16 and up, we recommend and encourage people get vaccinated so we can get closer to that herd immunity that will beat COVID back and have us returning to our activities, our economy, opening up our businesses and sharing time with family, friends and neighbors. All right, doctor, let's leave it there. Thank you so much. We will share a link online that has more on this subject as well. You'll find that and this posted at rochesterfirst.com.